going to talk about how you lock the child in, into the Words for Life app. And there's going to be two ways to do it. The one is called guided access, and the other is just using uh, a setting that's in your menu. And mine's already on, so I, my passcode's really easy. It's just three ones or four ones. But how I set that is when I went to settings, right here it says use manual passcode. So I can turn it on here, and of course I can set my code here. So if I wanted my code to be 2222, two, 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 I'll never remember that because I always use 111 one, one for demonstrations, but I think I'll be all right. So here I have now, if a child tries to go to the menu, it won't let them unless they know to use the 2222. Two, two, two. But like I said, the reason I'm not really focusing on this one, that's one way to do it, is the problem with this is, is if that one's even set and the child hits the home key, well, they get out of there. So that won't do you much good. It'll stop them from changing things within the app. They'd have to know the passcode, but it doesn't do you any good if you're uh, trying to keep them in the app. And these kids, you know very well, they'll, they'll touch this. So what we're going to talk about is guided access and how to use it. And first, we're going to learn how to turn on guided access. So first, just get out of the app you're in. And then you're going to go to the settings menu, which most of you know how to find. And then you're going to go to where it says general. And then you're going to have to scroll around a little bit. Sometimes you have to go up or down. But what you're looking for is the one that says accessibilities. So hit that one. And what you're looking for now is one that says guided access. So right here it says guided access and mine is on. And that's where yours is probably going to be off. It's going to look like that when you turn it on. But I'm going to turn it on. And then of course you want to set your passcode. I always do mine for my own memory, 111, but you could reset it. Remember, if the child learns it, you can change, change that. And I turn my accessibility shortcut on. Yours could be off. And what that does is if you turn this on, when you hit your button three times, it's going to give you the ability to turn it off and on on the fly, right as you're in, in, in some app. But the child still has to know the passcode to get out. So I turned it on, I set my passcode, and I said let this accessibility shortcut work. So now let's go back to Words for Life and see how you'd use this instead. So now I'm back to Lamp Words for Life. And I don't want the child touching the menu. I don't even want him getting to that spot where he can get in there at all. I don't want him hitting the vocabulary. And I don't want him hitting this home key to get out. So now I'm going to touch this three times fast. I'm going to touch the home key three times fast. And it says guided access has started. It was that quick. Now I'm going to hit it again. And this is where you have to know the passcode to get out. Well, what did that, th this spot here, what is this spot that it takes you to see? I've already been in here once. Yours wouldn't necessarily look like this. But th this is what yours would look like the first time you click three times. And what it's letting me do is circle what I don't want the child getting into. So I don't want them getting to these two things here. And of course, you can actually do an area on the grid. You could actually say, I don't want them getting into the stop. So you can do anything on the screen that you want. So if I did this, if I made this button not work, this button not work, and the stop sign not work, and I hit resume, now you can just barely see they're a little gray, but this button doesn't work anymore, this button doesn't work anymore, and neither does this one. So now everything else works fine. So the child can talk and use the device, but because I've turned on guided access, he can't get out of the app. And look, even this key doesn't work. When he tries to hit the home key, it says you have to triple triple hit the button to turn off guided access. And remember, it's a little harder than that. Even when I hit this three times fast, I have to know the password to get out of it. And then here's where you're just going to say end. Because if I resume, I'm right back to where I started. So I'm going to tell my stop to work again. And then I'm just going to say end. All right, so that's how you set up guided access to keep a child in the Words for Life LAMP, or LAMP Words for Life vocabulary.